today's video I want to talk about not identifying with the self schema. At first that may sound a little weird, like not identifying with the self schema, uh, isn't the self schema the thing that I should be identifying with? I mean it's about me, so it's my identity, and are all the ideas that I have about me, so isn't that something that I should be identifying with? Uh, well not necessarily. Like I stated in an earlier video, there are two kinds of me. There's the living organism that's just sitting and breathing here. Uh, and then there is the, the set of concepts that I have about me. So I have that self schema, that identity, and you have the actual uh, living organism. And when you look at it from that perspective, uh, then you just simply view your identity and your self schema uh, as a set of concepts, a set of ideas about yourself that you have stored up in your mind. So obviously a set of ideas that is somewhere floating around uh, in, in the cells of your brain uh, obviously isn't who you are, so you shouldn't be identifying with that. Then there's the living organism. Should I identify with that? I don't know. Uh, there are certain uh, schools of uh, spirituality and religion that may have different opinions on this. And uh, I'm not going to go into the whole uh, nitty gritty of, uh, of, of whether or not I should be identifying uh, with, with the physical body or not. Because you have these people that say like, oh, no, you're this consciousness that's residing in, in the physical body. And it's just temporary, uh, taking it on as a vehicle. And pretty much uh, that whole story about how you're, uh, you're really a consciousness or a soul and you, you're just temporarily uh, lodged within this body. No, I don't know about that, but let's just leave that alone. Uh, for now, I just want to focus on the cell schema. Uh, if you want to identify with, uh, with the living organism that's fine with me if you if you want to talk about being a, a consciousness in the body I, I think that's great too uh, but what I really want to focus on is the, the self schema the set of ideas that I have stored in my mind obviously I can't be that and what I want to put forth is that that self schema that set of ideas and concepts that I have stored up in my mind that that, that thing uh, is not who I am and the benefits of uh, realizing that I am not this uh, set of ideas about me and that the identity or the self schema that I have up in my mind is not really who I am is uh, that it, uh, it makes it a lot more uh, flexible and malleable when you uh, identify with your self schema and your identity uh, up in your mind uh, what can happen is that it become, become uh, very rigid and unmalleable and uh, inflexible uh, because you, uh, you become very attached to, to those ideas that you have uh, stored in your uh, self schema. So when you just identify only with the physical body or only identify with, with the consciousness, whatever your uh, spiritual beliefs are, I don't care. Uh, but when you just let that self schema, those concepts uh, in your mind, if you just don't identify with those, and you can, uh, you can be a lot more playful with them and more flexible because you aren't as attached to those, uh, those concepts that are uh, in your self schema. You can just uh, simply play around and tweak, uh, tweak them in whatever uh, way uh, you like and you don't become too overly concerned uh, uh, with them because that's also uh, a lot of times uh, what is the case like when people uh, start really identifying with those concepts that they have uh, about themselves and especially uh, when, when uh, their self schema is being filled out with uh, these external concepts that you uh, uh, often see uh, that are being conditioned uh, in our current society things that I talked about earlier in part 3 like uh, uh, possessions that you have, the looks that you have a certain uh, level of fame or social acceptance uh, whether other people uh, like you or not, your reputation uh, basically how good you look uh, if you start identifying with all those things then uh, you're gonna be uh, a lot more uh, attached and uh, insecure because uh, simply because you take this whole self schema very seriously because you have identified with it uh, whereas on the other hand if you just see it oh this is just a set of ideas about me that, that, are, that is stored up in my mind and really who I am is uh, just uh, <laughs> whether or not, not you want to be this spiritual woo-woo person that wants to believe that he is a consciousness in a body or whether you just want to say hey I'm just this living organism that's just sitting here and that is who I am uh, that makes uh, life uh, a lot more simple than uh, when you identify with the self schema and uh, start taking it uh, very seriously 
So I guess that's uh, the main message uh, for today's video. Uh, don't identify with your self schema and just see it as a con set of concepts about yourself. Uh, be free to, to play around with it, play around with it, don't become too attached to it. Just start observing it, start working with it and uh, feel free to, uh, to become more flexible and uh, have less of an uh, investment in however it looks. Just explore the possibilities of it and uh, yeah, feel free to uh, make any uh, adjustments uh, in, a, in the direction that you like.